So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this animation in DaVinci Resolve. Now, this is an animation I did for a short form content that I was creating. It is basically a reel or a YouTube short, you can say. But of course, I'm not going to show you how to create the whole thing. I'm just going to show you this amazing animation that I did in that short. So let's begin. Now, for this one, you need two things. First of all, you need a neuron image, as you can see over here. We have these neurons. This is just one image, so you can just go ahead and download any image that has no background but has these two neurons that are almost close to each other. And then you also need this chemical formula. So you can just go ahead and download any chemical formula. But these are the two images you need for this. And of course, you can use something different, but that's up to you. The idea of this video is to show you how to create something similar to this animation now the first thing is to create a timeline so right click over here create a new timeline unselect use project settings go to format and use vertical resolution hit create and you will be good to go add this fusion composition right click over here and go over and open in fusion page now add in this background and make sure you have this background selected then press Control space and search for grid now make sure you use this grid over here add this and then connect this grid to the media out now some settings we need to change over here first of all change the row cells to 10 and column cells to 10 as well now change the major line spacing to zero now we're going to change the color so i'm going to change this to red but this will also be at 0 0.5 so red will be at 0 0.5 and green and blue just change them to zero now let me just hide this line properties and focus on the transform controls right now you will see that we have this boundary over here right on the corner of our video we just don't want that so how to remove that you can use this zoom over here so just change the zoom you will be able to that get rid of that so we are done with our grid now let's go ahead and add in our chemical formula connect this with the grid and now make sure you select this and press on this transform now over here in the transform make sure you unselect it for now and add in this background connect the transform to the background and the background to merge one now in the background i am using this color code you can just copy this hit ok and now let's change the transform so somewhere around 0 0.4 looks works for me but of course just make sure whatever image that you're using is visible enough and now for the final thing we also need to add a glow so make sure you select your background press Control space and search for glow change the glow size to 100 and change the glow over here to 0 0.9 all right and now we need to add some animation so drag in this ellipse connect the ellipse with this media in now over here add 20 make sure you increase the width so that this is visible so you can change this all the way to 2 and also change the soft edge to 0 0.2 as well now create a keyframe add width and height over here make sure you are at 20 frames then go over add 0 change the width to 0 and height to 0 as well so if you will play this this is how it will look now let's move on to the text section make sure you go ahead and just add in add in these two texts so the first one i'm going to connect it with the merge one so let me type in something and the font that i'm using is poppins and this will be add black let me just increase the size so that and of course the best thing about the grids is so you you can also resize this so that this matches the grid gives you a better grid system of course it also has the built-in grid system you can right click over here use the grid guides but this grid also works as a guide as well so something around here something somewhere around here looks fine and the color is going to be red now i'm going to copy this control c and then right click and then paste settings let's connect it with this merge and this one i'm going to move right here and this time i'm going to change the text so 
this is the text that I'm using and this time I'm going to go with light. Now you can decrease this so that this matches our text in the bottom and move this right here. And I'm also going to change the color for this, so something orange. And now select your text one, control space, search for glow, add in this glow and change the glow size to 100. Do the same thing for text two, change the glow size to 100. And now let's start animation. So add 20, I'm going to add the animation for this text one, but for that we need to add in this rectangle one and then also this fast noise. Now in the fast noise we need to change the detail to zero and then over here at 20 create a keyframe for brightness and change this all the way to one then go over here at zero and change this to zero as well. Now connect the rectangle with fast noise and the fast noise with text one but over here you will see that we need to change some settings for the rectangle as well so let me just decrease the height so that this matches our text and the width as well and i'm also going to change this to 0 0.03 now let's create a keyframe at 20 and this rectangle at width and then go over to zero and change this to zero as well so if you will play this this is how it will look but I'm going to go over to spline and make sure you only select this rectangle and width. So now you can select these keyframes and hit S on the keyboard and unselect this now, close the spline and see how this looks. Perfect. Now let's go over to text two and then over here at 25 frames, go over to layout and create a keyframe at center and Z as well. Now go over to zero, change this or move this out of the screen and set the Z to 15. And if you play this, this is how it will look. But we need to go over spline, select text two. Right now, just unselect this layout angle and then select the keyframes for the displacement. His hit S on the keyboard. Select this first one and then move this slightly in. And then this one as well, move this slightly in. Now let's select our angle and select the keyframes and hit s on the keyboard and we are good to go perfect so the next thing we have is this neuron so these are two neurons but this is just single image but of course you can use two images if you like now since i'm using this single image i'm going to show you how to create two images out of this Right now, let's just select this image and add in this transform. I'm going to change the size so that this is covering the whole screen. And over here, it looks fine. And let me just decrease this to 1.7 or 1.8 works fine for me. And now let's go ahead, add in this rectangle mask connected with the merge four. Now I'm going to cover this first neuron over here. So first of all, I'm going to change the angle like this, change the width like this and the height like this. And of course, I'm going to change the soft edge to 0 0.1 and move this right here where the, we have this ending, right here. All right, and now let's go ahead, add in another rectangle. And this time I'm just going to copy the settings, paste it right here, but move this right here. Make sure you connect it so that this neuron is also visible. But now you will see that we have successfully separated the two. And let me just hide this one so that you can see that nothing is visible when we have this one. So it looks perfect. Now for the animation. So select this rectangle tool, go over at 40, create a keyframe at center. And now do the same thing for rectangle 3. Now let's go over to 25 and move this out of the screen so first of all first thing is this first i'm going to move this one out and then i'm going to move this one out and if you play this this is how it will look but of course you can go over to spline select the rectangle one and two and now let's hit this button and make sure you select all of these and hit s on the keyboard and now we have a good animation perfect and now we need to add some particles so that we can show 
that the chemicals are moving so let's go ahead and add in this particle emitter make sure you select this and also click on this p render connect the p render to the merge 4. now just to save time i'm going to set some settings that i already had created so i'm just going to walk you through them so first of all it's going to be this particle emission over here as you can see but of course we need to move this right here like this so here you will see the particles are moving and ending so what are the settings that i'm using for this so over here first of all you need to go over the region and change this to cube and then make sure you have the size settings like this translation like this so you can just copy these settings i have over here again go over to style and then change the style to blob you can change the color and the color code that i'm using is this now of course coming over to the size you need to set this at two and change the way keep the size variance at zero size velocity is everything else at zero now go over to controls and change the number to 0 0.3 number variance to zero lifespan to 50 lifespan variance to zero and you need to set the temporal distribution to randomly distributed now over here add velocity change this to 0 0.01 keep all of these at zero and make sure you set the angle at 180 so this is it these are the settings that we have for this and once you have that you will be able to get this sort of an animation but one thing you need to make sure is that this doesn't start when we have we don't have these neurons in so we need to start this from 40 so for that we can just drag in this rectangle connected with this merge 5 and let's reduce the width and the height and also the angle as well so somewhere around here now let me just zoom in so that you can see that we need to make sure that this doesn't pass this area because it needs to only cover this area so from here to here so for that i need to reduce the width and the height and also the angle a little bit but you will get the idea so if you're doing something like this you can just play around make sure you see the settings that work for you so i'm going to create a keyframe at width and also add center and over at 45 i'm going to do the same thing but now at 40 i'm just going to move this right here and change the width to zero as well so if you play this this is how it will look but you will see that this is very sharp and we have these this cut over here so in order to remove this we can just change the soft edge so let's play this and now it looks much better but you will see we still don't get that good of an effect so in order to make it more interesting we can just go over at 50 and create a keyframe at width and center and the one at 45 let's just remove this so let's see how this looks now perfect but again you will see we have this cut over here and we don't need this so once again you can just use this soft edge perfect all right so we have everything done but now the final thing is to add transform so make sure you select this merge and click on transform now over here at 20 create a keyframe at size and then at 25 change this to 1.2 now over here create a keyframe at angle right here at 25 then go all the way to the end and change this angle to 2.5 and now if you play this this is how it will look so this was it for this video i hope you will find this video useful and i will see you in the next one